I, I think using my uh, skill set to create a more inclusive environment for people in the school. Um, as Student Board of Education representative, I think I've done a good job of um, representing my, my peers um, to the Board of Education and actually presenting fit matters of substance to the Board of Education. I, I've been able to bring to the forefront the positive parts of the school, and I've also been able to respectfully uh, present the not so great things as well. Um, and that's been able, I think that's been helpful for presenting students with more of a voice um, at the legislative level. Everything ultimately comes down to people. Um, so wh whether you're studying math or if you're studying really anything, it comes down to people. And I think what I've enjoyed most in high school is the subjects where I can directly connect it to people. So I've enjoyed my history classes because I understand quite directly how people are um, affiliated with that subject. But even with subjects like math, um, understanding how to use statistics and that sort of thing uh, to improve people's lives, I think that's one of, been one of the most important lessons I've learned. My parents are a big one, obviously, but everyone says that. It's true. It's, it's no less true. But I, I would say that the biggest, influence, uh, the biggest influencer in my life was Joel Finnegan. Uh, he taught me civics my sophomore year. He's been my advisor for four years in advisory. He's my, my U.S. government teacher now. Uh, he's taught me history, uh, and he's my student government advisor. So he, he's had quite a big influence on me, um, particularly when it comes to dealing with people, um, because it, it's not always obvious how you should react in certain situations. And I have tended in the past to be a, a little hot-headed. Um, so M Mr. Finnegan has taught me how to be more relaxed in my life. He, he really emphasized the importance of just accepting things the way they are, but also working to improve things. So, but you don't have to be a crazy radical to do that. Like you, you can do things calmly and you can do things respectfully and there are ways to work change and to work and to use your opinion, your voice, in ways that are respectful and more conducive to actual uh, change making, essentially. I would like to think that if I could do anything, I would try to return us to a state of the world where we can all agree on the same set of facts. Um, I've actually talked about this a lot in my English and social studies classes about how somehow we don't really agree on what a fact is anymore and that's deeply concerning to me um, because before we can talk about climate change, before we can talk about immigration, before we can talk about any other political issue, and I'm a poli-sci major so I think of everything through a political perspective, but before we can do anything else on any other issue, we need to agree on what the facts are. And as it is right now, we can't agree that climate change is happening but despite the fact that 97% of scientists agree it is and it's human caused. So before we can do anything else, we really need to come into the same reality. Um, so if I could do anything, I, I would certainly try to restore that common basis of facts that our society relies on to be a good democracy. So I'm going to Harvard in the fall. Uh, so I'm really excited to meet um, so many people there because I already met some of them at the visitation days and everyone there is, seems to be really nice, uh, really friendly, really supportive. So I'm glad that I'll be going into such a learning environment where I'll be able to learn from my peers as well as from my uh, lecturers. So that, that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm looking into concentrating in government, although I'm not sure I might end up being a physics major, who knows. Um, but right now, government, after college, uh, right now I'm thinking about law school, um, but again, that's subject to change, of course, um, because I'm going to be a different person in four years than I am now, and I'm okay with that. Really just doing things to help people uh, more than anything else, because I don't see the point of living a life for money. So. Um, I'm not going to make a whole lot of money, uh, probably, um, in my life. But I, I, would, I would like to die knowing that I've helped people in some way through political means, I think, is probably the easiest way to do it.